<laughs> Coming to America. I feel like everything is failing. And it's cold. Yeah, things don't like the cold. We've discovered. I'm gonna go to sleep here. No more. Please. Ah. It is 19 degrees Fahrenheit here, and I can see my breath. It's only getting colder, colder and colder and colder. I think that has maybe been the most difficult part so far, is uh, being cold. And not cold, but also cold. Today we will be finally over 14,000 feet in elevation. And above the tree line. Yeah, above 4,000 meters. So, should be interesting. Oh, the sun feels good. Oh, I love the sun. Oh, hello. Good morning. How are you doing this morning? Yeah. yeah, how's your night? Yeah. That was yeah. cold. It was cold. I, I'm still lucky. I get the two mattresses and two blankets. Oh, and, you got the two blankets. Yeah. Yeah. It was really nice. Sleep well? Um, up and down. Still doing the midnight wake up. Oh, but, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but not too bad. Oh, we made our way down to Debuche. It was only a 15 minute walk downhill. This is where some people choose to live instead of Kangboche. We had a couple of friends that decided to stay here instead. So then they start their morning uphill. Yeah, I appreciated the uh, 15 minutes downhill because I feel like it warmed my body up a little bit before doing uphill. He will take our key back to our lodge that we took with us back in Namche Bazaar. We mistakenly took our room key with us from Namche Bazaar, so when we found that out in Tangboche, we're like, I don't know what to do, we can't go back to Namche. Our guide Amber said, ah, somebody going back down there, he'll take it. So it will be back with his rightful owner. Soon enough. Well, looks like bridge number one for today. His bridges never get old. And they shake just as much as the first day. Coming to America. I think the altitude is getting to people. <laughs> I heard Roxy. <laughs> Nepali alcohol. One Roxy a day keeps the doctor away. What do you think? It's a little harder. I think it's the lack of sleep that's catching up to me. It's still not bad. It's just harder. The bridge is being uh, stood up by a bunch of rocks. That looks better. Nepali engineering in the mountains. And we're seeing our lunch spot. It's right over there. Call Samari. We're gonna say goodbye to Everest. We won't be able to see Everest from this day all the way until we reach GBC. It's a little bit of an uphill climb, but we are in the village of Somare. It's our lunch spot, Sonam restaurant. Well, I got myself. Some hot lemon. 
yeah. very interesting flavor. It's like a tea, isn't it? There's no tea in it though. It's like lemonade if it was heated up. Oh. Okay, Take a seat. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Day five, right? Day five? Day five. This is how you boil water in the mountains. A little satellite dish with reflective covering. There's another one. Now, as a kid, I used to play with the satellite dishes a lot. I was a big fan of trying to get the channels that we weren't subscribed to, so it's kind of interesting to see a satellite dish being used in that way. <laughs> We are leaving the tree line, going above the trees. <laughs> Look at these yaks. If you can't tell, I can barely talk now. 4,100 meters. Oh, the funny thing is we've been checking our blood oxygen. I'm down to 90%. Melissa's doing a little bit better, 95. You can check it on Apple Watches, but he also has a pulse oximeter. He usually checks in the morning, but they say it's okay. It's supposed to be low at altitude. And I lost all cell phone signal. So it's the last of the cell phone signal we're gonna get until Gork Shape, which is three days from now. Really run across this bridge. Wow, I think they're going to see how cold the water is. Uh, that looks like it's really cold. <laughs> no, thank you. I am not checking the water temperature. I'm already pretty cold. Almost at Ding Buche. Uh, uh, uh. We made it! I have to say, today was a little tougher than yesterday. It's probably the first time in uh, the past five days, I guess, is day five, that I felt a little tired and out of breath. We're gonna be in Ding Buche for two days, so tomorrow we'll go for another hike, just a little bit higher, and then come sleep in Ding Buche. Ringbuche! Well guys, this is where we're gonna stay for the night. The Mountain Heritage Inn. It's a lot warmer, I can tell. Hello! I am busier. Oh, yeah, there's a, it's a lot busier here. So gas shower is 800. What has it been? No, it's been like 500. Okay. Wi-Fi one gig is 800. Wow, that's so expensive. Have to pay for it, yeah. We're in a no Wi-Fi. Oh here. boy. <laughs> and then, Things are expensive at 4,400 meters. Oh, yeah. I got two toilets. Let's see what kind. Western. That one smells a lot of it. This one's cleaner. Okay, here's a little room tour. This is always the best part of the day because you find out what you have or what you don't have. Cozy, cozy. cozy, cozy Very cozy. Yeah. Very, Very cozy. Nice. <laughs> this is our little room. This is my side. That's Moses' side. You should see the view. The view is really, really nice. The view is good. Melissa's gonna take a nap. So physically, I think I'm fine. It's just I have not slept for more than like two hours at a time at night. I was tired, like sleepy, mentally tired on this hike here. So today was probably the hardest day for me so far. And I don't think it's supposed to be a hard day. So last couple of days we haven't used our sleeping bags. Time to open them up. And since we're here for two days, I 
can just leave it tomorrow. How's it going? It says SD card writing speed is slow. <laughs> I feel like everything is failing in this cold. Surprisingly, it's warmer outside than inside. Back to the uh, common area. It's cold. <sighs> oh, I'm also got something today, different. I got the um, oatmeal, so oats and honey, and then black coffee. And I got the biggest breakfast of them all. The breakfast at almost 1,200 rupees. Guys, welcome to Everest Day 6. Today is a rest day in Tegbuche, but we are hiking up a small peak called Nagarjun. We're currently at about 14,000 feet. This peak will take us over 16,000. Today's peak is somewhere up here. We'll see if we go to the whole peak or just halfway. Either way, it'll be an adventure. It's only been 10 minutes. So. <laughs> that wasn't too bad as a, <laughs> a statement you make when you get up there. <laughs> Just noticing how close we are to Amadabum now. And Damsiku, which is somewhere there. We saw that from uh, Namche Bazaar. You know, so far, and now we're almost next to it. We gotta make it to the flags to, to get our next rest stop. So each okay. flag. Each flag is a rest stop, we'll huh? Rest, yeah. <laughs> next one's up there. I'm gonna sit down a little bit. It's been one of the hardest days so far. I'm gonna go to sleep here. No more. Please. Ah, uh, no we're more. almost there though. I can see the, uh, the peak. We're not there. It's a lie. I saw the map. We are going there. And we are here. Each step is so difficult. It's like you're taking a thousand steps. But I can't take one. Yeah, pulse oxygen 20%. Oxygen, please. Where's the oxygen? Although at the, these elevations, you realize even your guides are humans and they can't go at the speed they were going at earlier. Ah. We see, that's the end. There's a little tiny flag. You can do Let's it. go! Let's you do can it! Go. Oh, I see the end. I see the end. You guys, we're almost there. How are you doing? Good. The brakes are good. I feel good. It's like right there. I'm so excited to get there. Less than 100 feet. Thank you, Ambar. Yeah, thank you for doing this with us. Yeah. <sighs> Saved us. Oh, you would have quit halfway. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <sighs>
Welcome to 5,000 meters. First time. Oh, I can feel it. I, every time I start to talk, I have to take a very deep breath oh, man, before I can get my words out. So cool, though. It's so cool. I can't believe we made it here. And it's all thanks to Umber. Up here, so. Yeah, I think we pooped him out. <laughs> He's like, you guys won't quit. <laughs> Most people just quit at 45.